some of the uh, ergonomics and low profile geeks were uh, confused by my one centimeter switch. I thought it was a one millimeter. Uh, and that got me thinking I should try making a, sh a low profile version. So this is a kale chalk white, which has, I believe, three millimeters of travel. Um, but the smallest chalk you can get is actually 2.4 millimeters. So this switch right here is actually 2.4 millimeters of travel. And it's about the same uh, under the plate as a chalk. Well, my switch is a little different. More of it resides above the plate than below the plate, or sorry, below the plate than above it. So you can see the chalk, about half the switch resides above the plate. But in terms of total like body amount, they're about the same. It, which is my switch will, uh, you know, the pl more of it will reside below the plate. Basically, it's hard to describe, but they're about roughly the same. But the chalk does squeeze in about, you know, half a millimeter, uh, 0.6 millimeters more of travel in that same amount of size. Um, but it is an analog. <laughs> and this is the three millimeter version of my switch. So this is three millimeters of travel. And both of these came in, I measured them, they came in at 32 grams of force. And that is with a four by one millimeter magnet. And if you just shave a little bit off the top, there you can actually probably increase that a little bit and of course if you increase it the amount of uh, material that resides above the magnet and the stem this will reduce the initial force so if you're looking for like a 32 grams of force reasonably low profile switch I got you right here <laughs> and this one's even shorter uh, but you see how it's tilted a little bit that's the tolerances uh, when you make a switch this mu this small there's, n there's way more wiggle room than usual, so you gotta reduce the tolerances. I didn't do that, which is why it's tilting a little bit. But if I made it a little tighter, it would be nice and straight. But yeah, 32 grams of force, tiny little itty bitty living space. And the plate is magnetic, so if I press it on the plate, it'll stay down. It feels nice, nice and snappy. Feels better than the, the chalk, that's for sure. The chalk, barely is tactile at all, but it makes a loud clicky sound. Whereas mine is uh, very tactile and a mild clicky sound. <laughs>